Hi everybody. All right. Well, we're so excited to get going. I hope you're having fun with it and I hope you're loving the way it's coming out. Let's get started on part three already. Wow. Okay. Now we're going to have uh, some more fun here. We're going to start doing the chair, I think, and um, maybe, I don't know. We're going to see. I, I never really know. I don't really have a plan. I just sort of go with it. All right. So let's get going here. All right. Okay, I started doing the uh, wood here a little bit um, before I did it just to so I can see if, a little bit of the colors if I like the colors or not. So um, I kind of do. So let me show you here how I did it before uh, so we can get too far going here. I'm going to start. Let's do this side here. Okay, so let me show here. Let me get it all going here for you. All right, so the way I think will be the good way to do this is let's get these colors out here that I was using here and what I want to do is let's take this um, sand color okay and always on this you're gonna have to work with really really sharp pencils okay um, I'm gonna move this uh, back a little bit my camera is rocking so hold on a second sorry I had my camera too close to my table and so when I was moving it it was moving the camera okay I'm not really good at the filming deal but anyway alright so let's take this sand color and the first thing we want to do is let's just um, base it in um, with the sand color. But see how I'm doing it in a kind of like a, a sawtooth kind of a motion? Just kind of like this. See, it's like just go with like a grain, but like a just like a little sawtooth kind of a motion, leaving some spaces open. Just kind of putting that in, okay? We'll just do one area at a time so it's not scary for you, okay? Not that big of a deal, all right? Um, oh, I forgot. Let's see. I think back in here uh, was a little bit of a wall back in here. Don't forget about in here. we got to figure out what to do in there. All right, and just, well, just do the same thing. You've got it out. You might as well. I mean, it's going to be all the same anyways. So let's just get all this in, okay? All right, and... Uh, might as well do these two, I guess. Might as well. I'll figure out what to do here. And then, because these are all going to be the same kind of wood. So let's just... And then let's go across this way with these. Okay. So just... Base it in here. Like so. All right, but see how easy it is. Just and don't even be afraid of doing it. Just, just see how easy it is. Just don't even be afraid. You're just, you're just putting in the color. Okay, have fun with it. Don't even be worried about it. Just fill it in. Just see how easy that was. Not even hard, right? Nothing to be afraid of doing wood. See how easy that was. Not even hard. Just scribble it in. I see. I just threw the color in. Totally simple. Okay. So don't be afraid of doing wood. It's not that big of a deal. All right. I mean, even I get a little bit worried, but it's not even that hard at all, okay? Now we're going to take another color here. Let's take this pumpkin orange, okay? Now, with the pumpkin orange, what we want to do is we want to just do the same exact thing, okay? We're going to come across like this, see? Make sure you have a sharp pencil, and you just want to go in kind of areas where you think you want to have a little bit of highlights kind of colors, okay? So we're going to just put some in here, and then maybe we'll put some... Because I want it like maybe a little highlight over here, okay? And then let's put some over here, all right? Maybe make it more over that way. Let's leave some highlight at the top of here. Maybe make it like kind of messy. Because wood is not neat anyways, right? It's never neat, right? So you're just kind of throwing in some of this color, okay? And you just... But see how I'm doing it in the motion? It's kind of like a z like little big Z's, if you will. See, see, I just kind of Z's like that, just in little patches, you know. Maybe you want this part to be like that. See, see, not a big deal at all, right? Just see. Maybe you want to have the top part a little bit lighter. Okay. Now with this part here, we want to come down. So let's kind of come down with it, and just like I say, just be messy. Just Throw it in, but in Z motions. See how it's up, down, up, down, up, down, just like, you know, kind of messy. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing over here, just like this, see? Just in patches, like maybe you want this part here to be a little bit more patchier. 
Okay, because we want it to be just different, you know. Okay. And then do the same thing here. Maybe over here we'll have a little bit more patchiness. Maybe we want it more patchy over. You can make it thicker over here. You're just throwing in the colors in a Z type of fashion. See? Now, I mean, we could do a knot if you want to. Um, I'm not going to teach you a knot because I know you might be a little bit afraid right now. So we'll just do the same thing. You just want to put some in, maybe some in this area over here. Maybe some over here. See? Sometimes wood can go down. So you don't even have to go straight. Even if you don't want to, you can, you know. Wood's, wood's not always straight. See? Wood's not even straight. Sometimes I went, you could go even crooked. You could even, won't really matter. Because wood, it's, wood is not always straight, right? All right. See? Simple, simple. Okay? Just messy, messy, messy. Maybe over here, you know. Maybe I'll make it a little bit more. Maybe I want it more orange in this corner, you know. Maybe in this corner we'll have maybe some more in this corner. Now you can just kind of play with it as to where you want. Maybe maybe we want more in the middle down in here. A little bit like that. Now you could start, you know, maybe making it a little bit more to where maybe you want it maybe a little bit damaged over here or a little bit more orangey. Now you could kind of start playing with it a little bit more just to refine it a little bit. Okay, maybe we'll come in here a little bit. All right. Okay, now let's take our, um, this is the Sienna Brown. Again, you got to have a nice dark. This is Sienna Brown, okay? Now with the Sienna Brown, what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to come in here with Sienna Brown, go across the top, and then we're going to do the same thing, but remember it's darker. So we're going to, now light, you want to go, okay, what you want to do is you want to push it lighter in some spots, darker in the other spots, okay? So now it's going to start looking a little bit more like wood. So like, start off with the nice like light. See it? See how like I'm putting it really light over. So just kind of like a nice light base. Look, see this is very very light, right? It's just so it's light and it's covering the sand. Very very light, right? Then what you could do is you could start giving it some uh, definition. So see, I'm putting it a little darker underneath here because I want it to have like a little bit of a shadow. Okay. So it's got a little bit of shadow, right? And then you could just maybe start going like this. Kind of like the same thing. Okay, now this is where it starts. This is really where, where you can play around because this is where you can kind of leave it where you want some highlights. Do the same thing, but you're just going to be a little bit more, um, more, a little bit more with the purpose because this is what kind of is really what starts making it look like wood. Okay. So just you're just gonna have to play around with how you kind of want it, and don't be afraid of it. Just just put it in here. See, just 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 don't just make sure you're going light and dark. See, see how it's already starting to look like wood. You just go light and dark. Okay, leave some leave some light patches, which is fine. You can have some light, and then maybe make some dark, really dark. Push really hard on some, and then make it light in some areas really light, really dark, and then like maybe in this corner here we can maybe make that and go along the edges here. Okay, uh, uh, now we could just even do one area at a time. Well actually, it's actually not a good idea. I would actually not, because then you're going to forget which ones, and you want it to be even. You want the, everything to be even, so stick with stick with just using the one color, I think. Um, is a good way to start if you're a beginner at doing wood um, because otherwise your woods might not come out even if you don't use the same colored pencil all the way down all right so let's do the same thing so maybe in here we want to have it a little darker back in here right because this is a little shadier in the corner area all right and then maybe you want to make some some squiggles and then light so maybe a nice a nice light base really light 
just light. Go light over here. See how I'm going nice and light? Okay, then like over here, it'll probably be darker, so I can maybe put a little darker in here. Okay, and then um, let's maybe make some little lines here, because maybe give a little highlight in this area. Maybe the window is going to shine in here, so maybe we can make this a little lighter in this area here. And then let's uh, maybe make this here, here, and then just kind of play around, and then put a little base down in here. Maybe corners could be a little darker, see? See, just like that. And then just come across here, all right? And then just do the same thing down in here. All right, get the get the sides of it, okay, and then just kind of light, go light first. Just make a nice light base first, and then you can uh, make some squiggly lines, some squiggly lines, nice and light squiggly lines, okay. All right, and remember we still have three we still got three more colors to use, so. Just keep that in mind when you're doing this. That you don't, you're not trying to get a final look yet because we still got more colors to put in. All right, but you get close, but not all together. Now make sure you got a sharp pencil again. So sharpen it again for the next drawer. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make some squiggly lines. Okay, because we want to have a little bit, a little bit more uh, definition on these drawers here. We want to make some, maybe some squiggly lines here. And then, you now, nice light base and some nice light. Just go over it nice and light. So, I, see how nice I'm very lightly going over this whole thing like a base. Just very, very lightly. See, look, see how light, just nice and light. Nice and light over here. And then, um, like maybe in here, I can have a little darker, right? Maybe in here, maybe a little darker. Where we kind of want to, to have it start being darker, you can kind of start making it a little darker in some areas, right? Okay, we're gonna have it uh, darker under here. Okay, okay, so. Just keep playing with it. Okay? Put it darker and maybe a little patch under here. It's darker. See? Just keep um, playing around with it like that. Okay? You can have some wood grain coming through. Okay? And then down in here we'll do the same thing. Just. Okay? Do some areas of openness. You know, like just see how I'm just kind of throwing it in there. Maybe down in here I'll have it darker. And then maybe some squiggly lines in here. Maybe some squiggly lines in here. Then nice and light. See, look, nice and light. Nice and light. Nice and light here. Maybe, maybe harder in here. Wherever, just, you know, just nice. Nice light base, see? This is nice and light here. And then maybe dark, or maybe you want a little dark patch in here. Just vary it, maybe dark in the corner, maybe. And then maybe, maybe dark over here. Maybe you want some dark over here, so just push a little harder. Just see, just... But the main thing is, is don't worry too much because wood's not really all that neat anyways, right? But see how it's starting to look like wood? It looks like a really pretty desk. And if you have flaws like that, that's okay because wood, wood has that where you're going to have uh, areas of patchiness of darks and lights, right? Okay, so just do the same thing here. I'm going to just come across the top and then nice and light, nice and light. Okay, and then maybe make some squiggly lines. Okay, maybe I want it. Maybe I really want a dark patch in here, so I'll make a, some damage. Maybe just splash it on. Now go light, maybe dark. Okay, put a nice light base. Maybe I'll even go sideways on one, like it has a little scratch. Okay, oops, 
Oh, well, that's okay. That happens. Okay, and then maybe we want a little highlight over here. I don't know. We'll see. All right. All right, and then make some lines. All right, and then do the same thing over here. Make it nice and light first. And then if you want some dark areas, maybe down in here. All right. Okay. Light. Light first. Okay, nice and light. Okay, and then you can darken. Darken. Okay. See how I'm just filling it in? Not even a big deal. See? Now you don't have to even be worried about doing wood. It's not hard at all, is it? See? Just fill it in. Squiggly, the light. Okay, maybe in here you can have a little darker. See, then you gotta start in pencil again. Okay. Let's go on the outside here. Let's. I'm going to leave some light here for some, make this a little lighter, I guess. Okay, he's got a little highlight on this side. Okay, just come alongside the edge here, nice and light, and then you can Put patches of darker. Okay. I left a little streak in there. See, I left a little. I left a little streak of so some lightness in there. Okay. All right. Now let's take our next color. Okay. This is going to be dark brown. Okay. And we're going to take some dark brown now. We're going to start making sure it's nice and sharp. Okay. And you want to start getting in some more of your detail. All right. So let's take your dark brown and start putting in a little bit more of some shading maybe where you want a little bit more shading because it's going to be more shaded in this area okay and then also maybe you want to make some more uh, wood grain okay don't try not to get any on your chair here because our uh, well this is actually going to be wood too this this little chair so you can just kind of go around with the dark brown and just outline the chair here. Oops, I didn't do a very good job there, but it's alright. Because this is the chair. Alright, and then now um, let's kind of come across here. The dark brown. Alright, and then maybe uh, let's come down here and give it a shadow underneath here. And now you just kind of start playing with it a little bit where you want to have some more darker. Now on this, on this one here, we're going to do the darks one at one section at a time. All right. All right. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so now we're just going to do one section at a time. So we're going to leave, I'm going to leave, I like that little highlight like that. I like a little highlight, so I'm going to leave a highlight. Now let's take a, the next color is going to be that we're going to use is going to be Espresso. All right, so take Espresso now, because now this is where we're going to put in our detail. All right, and Espresso now is where you're going to want your, where you're going to really start putting in some detail. Okay, let's go around here, and on these knobs here, let's let's put a shadow underneath where that knob is right here. Okay. And then let's go with the line. We want to firm up this line a little. All right. And then let's give it a nice shadow underneath there. All right. Makes it a little bit more darker in here. All right. See? So now you really want to start giving it a little bit more um, detail. Okay. Put some shadow in here. Alright, because this is, it's falling down underneath here, so there would probably be a little bit of a shadow in here, right? A little bit of a shadow, right? In here, a little bit. 
Okay, now let's take, um, this is 90% um, cool, 90% uh, cool gray, okay? And then let's add a lot more dark here, all right? Then we're going to really add our drama, you know me with my drama, right? Maybe we'll put a couple more in here. Got some on my feather, but that's all right. All right. And then maybe a little bit more of these little lines. You got to make sure your pencil's nice and sharp. Okay. And see how I'm adding a little bit of lines. If you want to have some finer lines for your wood grain, you can do them in there if you want to have a little bit more lines on your wood. Okay, see how it's starting to come along? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so now grab your um, grab your color. This is your sand color, okay? With our with our sand color, our original color blend. Okay, so take your sand color now and blend that piece. Okay. And let's blend this top in. We're starting to put in some detail just to make sure we like it. Okay, blend that in. Okay, we're starting to see how that's starting to look. Nice, huh? You like it? Okay, now what we got to do is let's take um, the um, uh, Sienna Brown here. We already used the Sienna Brown. Okay, now you just kind of play around with your color, Santa Brown. Let's take the dark brown, and I'm going to put the edge on the dark brown over here, on this one, on the side here. I'll put some dark brown over here too. I need some, I'm going to make a little patch, uh, go sideways actually, because I want it to not be straight. I kind of want to give it a little, see how it's down a little bit? just to give it, I want to give it a really antique -y kind of look, you know. Okay, now the espresso, okay, because I want to darken up the area here. Okay, and then I'm going to um, darken up this up in here. Okay, then I'm going to use my, um, the 90% cool gray where I'm going to really, you know, get it going here. With it, it. There you go. Okay, there you go. See? Yeah. A little lighter, a little lighter, not so heavy here. I just want to give it a little shadow. Okay. All right. Then, um, I think down in here under where this paper is, I'm going to use a little bit of this 90% cool gray here. Give a little bit of a shadow underneath this paper just to make it look like it's popping out a little and a little bit uh, on the edge maybe just a little bit of a shadow on the edge so you just kind of come out a little I don't, you don't really want to miss too much of the detail, you know it's such a pretty picture, we want to do a good job, see? see, it's got like a little shadow, makes it look a little bit more 3D on that thing okay Come across this edge. All right, let's take your time. Let's see. Looks really good, huh? Okay. Now let's we just move down and just do the same thing. This is a little bit more trickier, so I think instead of me turning it off, I'll just color it um, live with you guys. Okay, so you can just keep following along. I run out of battery in a minute, so I'm gonna have to change it. All right, so now let's take our, um, we did we did Sienna Brown, so now we're doing the dark brown. Now we're going to take our dark brown here, and with our dark brown, we're going to come underneath this um, here, because this is going to have some more shadow, and I'm going to put some dark brown underneath here. Okay, and then I think uh, I'm going to do some, uh, let's come along the side here along the side this way. I know I'm going opposite, but that's just because I don't want any crap, any white. I'll fill that in. And then what we're going to do is let's go um, like this. 
make some lines. Make some lines. Make a little bit more some crazy lines here. Okay. Okay, and then fill some in here. Some dark brown down in this area here. Dark brown in here. Okay. Just kind of play around with it a little. Okay, now let's, I'm going to go over it with the sand just so I can see where I need to put the darker. All right, go over it like that. Then I'm going to take um, the um, dark brown again and make it a little bit more darker underneath here. Um, I think this corner needs some dark, nice dark brown in the corner, corners. All right, now I'm going to take the um, espresso now, and with the espresso, I'm going to give it an expression with my espresso. <laughs> All right, all right, um, let's go uh, up in here. I think I'm going to give it a little bit of like a defect or something just to give it a little you know just to give it a little I don't know give it some attitude okay now in here it's gonna be dark I'm gonna darken that up in here get some attitude over here all right I like the highlight so I'm gonna leave it I like that highlight right there I guess but maybe not in the, over here I think that this would be a little darker along here. Yeah. Well, like a little scratch sideways, like a little blemish. A little blemish. You don't have to make blemishes if you don't want them. Okay, 90% cool gray, the darker one, the real darker one now, to make the shadow. Because there's definitely going to be a shadow one for you there. Okay, see, got to have that shadow. I want to highlight in the middle, so I'm going to leave that. And then I'm going to come down over here, and then in here I think I'm going to make a little, a little bit darker down in here. Okay, see, I want to really, like, antique it. I like, now you could do however much you want your antiquing, you know. I don't know how much you want yours antique, so just however you want yours. Um, old or whatever. I just kind of wanted mine like that. I don't know. Or that's how it came out anyway. I don't know if I wanted it that way. But I never know how they're going to come out. I mean, wood like is with anything, you know, you never know. It's come out like that. That's good. Okay. I think I'm going to leave these light just so it has a separation between them, you know. All right. So now I'm going to take the uh, dark brown now on this one. And I think I'm going to go across the side here, across the top, and then add my dark brown, nice and light here, make some squiggly lines, make some, see the wood grains, you want to make some wood grains, maybe some sideways if you want. Okay, make some wood grains. Some craziness over here. Okay, some craziness over here. Like a little, I don't know, who's moved around and maybe they made a little scratch or something when they were going on a little cruise. Maybe somebody, maybe there was an actor practicing their lines and kicked it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this has got a little story behind this. <laughs> Okay, some espresso. And give it an expression with the espresso. It's hard for me to do it, to do it because um, there's so much glare um, from all these lights to film, you know. So for me, it's a little bit harder because I can't really see it all that good. All right. And then now I'm going to take my 90% cool gray 
and I am going to give it its interestingness. Make this desk come to life. Now it's going to start speaking to me. All right, what do you want, desk? How do you want to come to life here? All right, how do you want to come to life, desk? All right, you want some over here? You want some patina over here? Where else do you want some love? Maybe you don't want to be too perfect, do you? This desk is talking to me right now, wants to stay interesting and messy. See, I don't want you don't want it to be the same or even, you know. So I'm gonna make it a little different than the other one. Maybe I'll go sideways on that. Maybe you make a little scratch. See, made a little scratch on that one. See, pretty cool, huh? And then we're gonna come down on the side here. Let's give it a little bit of a shadow. Just give it a little bit of a shadow here. See, a little bit of a shadow. Okay. All right, and we'll just do the same thing on this one here. I like it when they look a little bit different, you know? You don't want to keep them exactly the same. Okay, are you having fun? I hope you're having fun with yours. These are really fun. Now you won't be afraid of doing wood anymore. Okay, take your dark brown and come across. Go across the bottom, dark brown, or wherever you want. Make make some lines. Okay, I'm gonna have to change my battery here really quick. All right, let's go across here. Across the side here. Across the side here. and light. I'm going light over here because I, I like to have a little bit of light. Okay, and I'll take my sand. I'm going to go over this part. I forgot to go over a little bit of sand over here just to I see a little bit of white spots. I'm going to go over it blend it here. Alright, and I'm going to go over it here. I'm going to just blend this in. Some sand. I don't know what I'm going to do with these little things yet. Maybe I'll make them silver, like a silver patina, maybe, you know. All right, um, now we're going to take the uh, espresso. All right, and I'm going to start giving it, giving it the business. i got to give it the business over here. I'm going to make this one. A little bit darker, I think, than the rest. I don't know why. Just coming out like that. That's the way that one worked out. It's all right. Okay. Um, I want to have to blend this down just a little, give it more natural of a look, and then I'll leave a little bit of light, and then I think I will make it darker in this corner. Over there, make it darker, and then I think I'll leave that. I'll make it darker over here, maybe, oh. and then the corners, of course. Where, okay, all right, and I'm gonna take my my the cool gray, and then really is where you get the the real look here. Come down on both sides. Mm -hmm. Start putting in a little bit more detail if you want. Like I'm doing here. Okay. And we're going to come over here. Gonna really start maybe making some. That's oh, hard. Okay. 
You know, and I went a little crazy on my lines, but that's alright. I mean, whatever. It's alright. This one has a little bit more of fright. I'm going to take my sand and just kind of blend that in a little. You never know how they're going to come out, you know. It all depends on how you do your things. But that's okay. It's just like well, any wood, right? Look at that, huh? What do you think? You like it? All right. Now we got to do this side here. So we're going to take our um, dark brown and I'm going to come down here with our dark brown and I'm going to do the same thing. And I think I'm going to leave some kind of a light highlight there, I guess. I don't know. Okay, this bottom down in here. I'm going to go like that, and then here I'm going to do this one. I like a little bit of highlight in the middle. Then I'm going to come up here. Okay, now in here, this is going to be darker because it's back. It's in the back, so I made that one a little darker. All right, then I'm going to take my um, espresso. Okay, now in here, this is going to be darker because it's underneath that. Okay, and then I'm going to get dark down in here. Okay, and then this back in here really should be dark. It's in the back, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to take my, um, the 90% cool gray and I want to darken this up in here because this is uh, underneath. Okay, and I want to have it darker. Okay, darker in here. I like that little light highlight. I went crooked there because I I thought it was kind of cool and then I went sideways here because wood wood kind of is like that you know wood kind of has a little swirly on it on some of them you know so I just kind of made a little swirly and I did here too to highlight that little piece there you go made that one have a little bit more grainier than the other ones Okay, I'll take my sand and I'm going to blend all this in with the sand. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in here because this needs to be darker because it's way back in here. Alright, I'm going to just leave these light for now, I don't know. That's fine. Okay, these uh, little strips here need a little bit of love. I'm going to take some dark brown and just kind of give it a little bit of, a little bit, just a little bit of dark brown on those. And then maybe um, some cool gray on the sides maybe. Just... I didn't think it looked finished. Alright. 
Yeah, it looks a lot more, it just looks a little bit more finished. Okay, so there you go. Let's uh, widen it out here. Okay, I, now I gotta do the detail on the side. Okay, so you go ahead and finish the other side. Do the other side of it the same way. All right, now back in here, um, just, um, I'm gonna do the same wall color, which was that, uh, the gray and then the periwinkle. Do the back of that wall. I forgot to do my wall back there. And, um, this part here, um, just do it the same kind of wall color or whatever. I don't really know what that is. Um, I don't know really what that line is. I'm just going to do it gray, the same color as the wall, just so that it blends in nice. So finish, finish this side, that. Oh, and then these strips here, do it the same exact way. For the wood for the chairs, the exact same thing you did here, do, do here on these two sides and on the, on the, on the benches. Just, just on this side, just only here, only here, only here. And only here, just only to do the wood, because we're going to come back and we're going to do the chair. Okay, so to, to do that, and then we'll be back. Okay, ciao. I'm gonna check. Okay, so hopefully you guys got it done. So what I did was here, I did the um, the bed, and then I did the chair. And by the way, this back here was part of the desk, so the desk had like a little uh, like a little arch cut out, and then the wall, and then you got to do the little chair here. Okay. And um, then don't forget in here for the door, go behind the, the little nice little case, okay? All right, so now let's do um, the mat and I think the little feather. So let's get closer here. Let's go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I want to make it um, kind of like a, uh, sorry, I got I to gotta always set it so I can... I put I put it on a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper, so that I don't have a texture on the bottom because I don't color in my coloring book. All right, so let's base it in a uh, pink rose. This little mat. All right, so I'm just gonna go along here for the mat. Okay, go the direction of the mat. Okay, it's like a little writing mat or something. I don't know. All right, and then also let's do the feather. Um, light, really light here at the tips, and then um, and then let's kind of darken it a little here, maybe around here. So we want to make it look like a little feather. So I'm going to kind of darken this area, but I want the tips to be kind of lighter. I might want to draw a feather in. It's not really very good a feather, but that's okay. All right. Just make sure it's a little darker there. All right, so we've got the base in. All right. And then I want to have a, I want to maybe, maybe make it a little darker in here. Some of the areas, maybe darker. Down in here, darker over here. Okay, all right. Okay, now I want to take um, this one here is a dusty beige. All right, and let's kind of give it a little, um, you know, a little, a little more character here to it. Let's age it a little bit here. Okay, just kind of give it some, some age. Just give it a little bit of age on the side here. Okay, um, let's take some dusty beige on here too, darken it a little bit more. And feather. Okay. All right, now let's take uh, let's some try some raspberry. All right, so some raspberry. I'm gonna give it a little aging here. Not really aging, but just a little a hint of some color here. See, how I've just made like a little a little lip, so it has a little bit of a highlight here. 
you know, just a bit of a highlight, maybe go around here, and then uh, maybe on the writing, a little. underneath here, okay, and then I want to give it some an edge here. There we go. All right, and I want to take some raspberry now here and let's make it kind of like a little matching desk set, huh? What do you think? All right, and then let's, let's see. I'm just gonna make it kind of simple. I'm not gonna give this feather too much detail. I'm just gonna blend this up, blend that up. Simple, huh? A little matching little dust set there. I hope that wasn't covering it too much. I hope you saw what I was doing there. Okay, now I'm gonna let's use some light umber here. And with the light umber, let's just uh, dirty it up a little bit. Give it just a little bit of some light umber on here. Just I want to give it a little bit of age. I don't want it to look too new because I think a little light number will tone it down just a smidge. I don't want it to be too bright. A little bit of light number. You don't really even see it. It just tones it down a smidge. Just a nice little coat over it. I'm going over the whole thing just very lightly though. There you go. Okay, now let's, um, let's try some dark brown here. And with the dark brown, I'm just going to give it a little bit more accent here. A little shadow. Some dark brown in here. And then I'm going to put some dark brown in this area here. Give it there. It still has a little bit more drama to that pen there. Um, all right, let's take, um, let's see, uh, how about that? Uh, Let's use this 90% cool gray again. And let's just give us a little bit of a more dramatic here along these. Just a nice little, just a little bit on that feather. All right, and then take some white. Okay, I got you know I got to turn it, so sorry about that. Take some white, and then let's blend in, and then out, blend in, just blend it. Okay, and then let's blend it so it's a little smooth. All right, and blend it to give it some highlight there. All right. There, what do you think, huh? That's a cute little, cute little desk set, huh? Okay. All right. Let's see what we're at now. All right. Let's do this little bottle, huh? All right. Well, let's grab um some. Uh, I guess we had that periwinkle. We might as well just use it for this little hair. Periwinkle in there, and then um, let's. Where's that? Uh, we had that indigo blue we were using, right? Where did I have that? Um, the indigo blue. All right, so with the indigo blue, let's do the first. Let's make a nice light, real light base for the indigo blue. Nice and light for the ink bottle. All right. 
See, I just put it. See how light I made that? Okay. Get a little closer, huh? All right. So, um, oops, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. On the phone sometimes. I gotta leave it on because my kids are at school. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I should do these. Uh, I think I will. Let's, they're kind of like shells. So let's just do this the same way as we did the feathers. So I'm just going to uh, base these in that uh, pink rose. So just base these in the pink rose like this. Okay, and then the same for the knobs. That way it kind of all matches, you know? I think that's pretty cool. And then let's just uh, take the raspberry and just kind of go up from the bottom. Kind of like you do a flower. Okay, um, you got to sharpen it because it's really kind of small, so you want to make sure that you just sharpen it. And then just do them like that, okay? And then, um, then the bottom will do the uh, indigo blue on the bottom, just a little bit so it comes up on the bottom. And then maybe just do the outsides, just so you can get the detail, okay? So do all those, do all those like that. Just get, just get those all nice and going, okay? All right, so let's finish. Let's take this uh, indigo blue and then let's do this, finish this here. So let's have the uh, light coming from this window, I guess. Um, so let's just take the indigo blue and let's darken this up here. Okay, and then let's darken this up here. Okay. See how I left that part lighter? And then let's take our white, and with our white, let's blend the whole thing in. Okay, so it's looking a little bit more blendy. And then again with that 90% um, gray, uh, the cool gray, that 90% like we do for our shading. And let's just give it a little bit of, a little bit more detail. So we want this to be a little darker on the side here. Okay. There we go. Well, it's got a little shade to it, you know, on there. All right. Now, how about we do the, um, I'm going to work on the chair. All right, let's do the chair. Okay. I mean, I guess we can do the chair, huh? All right. I don't know what I'm going to do this yet. Might as well just do the chair. That'll be kind of. Actually, let me stop this video here because uh, I'm gonna stop the video here, you guys. Actually, because this was enough for this one video with the with the doing the um, whole desk and everything. So let's just um, stop the video here, and we will um, come, return and we will do some more fun stuff. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this part of this video. I hope your guys' thing is looking really really nice. I hope you're happy with it so far. Um, I hope you like the way I'm teaching you. Please uh, like the video too, don't forget, okay? Because um, it goes up higher in my rankings if there's more likes to it and stuff. So um, thank you so much for watching. Okay, I hope you're having fun. See you at the next video. Ciao.